Hello. Hi. Hey, y'all. Uh, hey, Rose. Oh, I don't know why sleepiness just hit me just now. <laughs> what are y'all doing? I'm trying to see what Tex is about to do. What this winter storm is about to happen. Hopefully it's not too crazy. What is this? I don't know what I'm doing today, honestly. I just got on here because I just spoke with my client for tomorrow and we had to reschedule because of the storm just being safe. I want to um, do... i seen this effect that I wanted to try. It's like, to make this look like, there's just a stone. That looks like the pool, like reflection things. But, I don't know how to do it, so I'm practicing, but I would just, thought I'd get on live while I try to figure it out. Let's see what's up with y'all. I need a base gel. Hello. What y'all up to? Yeah, there's another winter storm coming. So I got my little um um my little power bank charging. Waiting on some more groceries that I ordered. Delivered groceries from like four different places today, literally. <laughs> some, I'm hopefully, hopefully they'll bring some wood for a fire. Um, some. For the fireplace. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to read stuff. This is a base coat. So I'm saying something. It's like you take the base coat. I should have like been prepared, but Tabitha. You apply the base coat and then you like drop like white mixed with, I believe, more base coat or top coat. I'm not sure. Again, details I should probably know, but I don't know. So I'm just going to wing it and try a few different things. Guess I'm gonna keep it real simple. I'm gonna try base coat on base coat. Does anybody know this technique I'm trying to do? And maybe you could tell me and we can, you know, cut a corner here. So I'm gonna try base coat. Yep, February last year. Yep, that's what we're trying to avoid, hopefully. This is enough. Enough. I mixed together, um, yeah, that base coat and white and some lint, obviously. Jesus. Is it supposed to be with top coat? Well, look, tell me how it's supposed to work. That's what I'm telling you. Is I don't know how it's supposed to work. So you talking about tell you if it works better with base coat. I don't know how it's supposed to work in the first place. Yeah, a lot of people are having winter storms. I mean, Texas is not prepared for that. Well, that doesn't look like that's doing a, anything. 
Okay. Oh, no, you're supposed to mix, put this, and then, okay. No, 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 no. Everybody, calm. I think I got it. I'm supposed to polish the sheer white on the surface, I believe. Let me wipe this off. I should have gloves now so you don't see my ugly hands. So yeah, I was just wanted to come on live tonight um, and see. I wanted to talk to you guys because um, I have solid intentions and I noticed that usually people on my lives are usually, you know, some subscribers that have been around a while. <laughs> so I um wanted to ask you guys for courses. Like what kind of stuff would you want to see? I wanted to make sure if I'm going that route that I put in stuff that you guys want to see. Should I drop top coat or base coat on this? Should I do it like this? Oh snap. Okay, that's kind of what I'm looking for. There we go. Why don't I ever do my own nails? Because I don't want to. <laughs> that was base coat. This is top coat. Am I able to do like a galaxy with an astronaut floating in the air? Jasmine, what does that mean? <laughs> an astronaut this is base coat and top coat the top coat seems to go in further but I can't tell you if it's if I did if I dropped more or not honestly that's a base coat again top oh the top coat's like turning it like a different color you see how it's like oh that's kind of cool I don't know. This is top coat. If it'll do it everywhere. And what if I dropped it in the base coat? When you say crystal placement, what are you, are you referring to? Like ideas or like It's kind of like, well, I don't know. It's my first time doing it. I should probably move faster, right? I'm gonna just let it sit and see what happens. Yeah, it does kind of look snake skinny, which is not what I was trying to go for, honestly. And I think I dropped too much. It's like kind of distorted. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. ideas to place them okay so if it was like if I told you okay here are three go to crystal designs that'll go with a lot of looks or something like that
Oh, look, it's Cam Cam. I don't have... Well, this is kind of cool, right? I don't have any, um... Skin in the game. I'm about telling you about acrylic because I don't do acrylic no more. And um, I can tell you this. I used to do one-on-one -on -one classes in person. And um, I find that teaching acrylic and builder gel, uh, after teaching them, I find that it's easier to learn and master and get down builder gel than acrylic. You guys know I'm going to praise it all day long because it's the truth. People come to me and learn acrylic application. I'm like, just extra bonus time. Like, have you, can I show you, can I teach you how to apply builder gel? Because you're going to stress over trying to apply acrylic. And there's the people who's been, who've been doing nails for years and years. You know, some people are more talented than others, I understand. But who just don't have good acrylic application. And it's kind of hard to teach, honestly. Um, a lot of it is... Just having a feel, getting used to it, and perfecting it. And that's just, you can't really teach somebody how to have experience. So, I say that to say, try use some uh, <laughs> builder gel. Because you don't have to worry about ratio. Because that's what I always say about acrylic. First and foremost, before you even are getting to the nail... You don't even have to worry about a hand. Can you get the ratio of powder to liquid together? You could spend all day getting that right, wrong, wrong, too too wet, too dry, too big, too small, too big and too wet, too small and too wet, too big and too dry, too small and too dry. Like <laughs> There's so many ways you can get that wrong and never even touch the nail. And that's what... I'm always trying to tell people, like, you don't have to worry about that with Builder Gel. You pick which viscosity you want. So, and I always recommend if you are going with Builder Gel, try with a medium viscosity. Something not too runny, something not too thick. Something that self-levels, but that's, you know, not just going to run everywhere. Oh, yeah, if you prefer acrylic. I mean, I'm not telling you acrylic's bad. I'm just saying, and for sake of, like, learning how to do nails, I'll say this. I think a person could master doing, if you're, ta if you're taught at the same level, um, I think you'll be able to do a more beautiful builder gel set. Like, if you didn't know how to do nails at all and somebody just taught you from ground up, I think you'll be able to do a better more beautiful, more structurally accurate, cleaner around the cuticle builder gel set sooner than you would be able to do that with acrylic. Cause it just it's just because it self levels on its own time. It it's just yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna try like a layering thing with this. Yeah, acrylic takes a lot, and I do not miss it at all. It's all I ever did at first. The whole first part of my channel is just acrylic, so people, I don't want nobody to ever be like, oh, you know, you must not like it because you can't do it, or something like that. Somebody tried to say that before, and like, that's not the case. Look, I want to work smarter, not harder. And all that did was make me work harder. And like I always say, the clarity of Builder Gel is just so much better. I'm just trying to see what it does if I painted, if I mix that with the base coat. And put it on here. 
if that did anything to, to talk about, to write home about. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, I bet, yeah. The acrylic will get the blues for sure. But, I mean, this ain't doing nothing real. Really to write home about. Yeah. And... For that, for that matter, between poly gel and builder gel, you can do, I don't know, the only thing <laughs> at this point that I keep acrylic around for is, um, is 3D flowers. And um, you guys know I like doing that, like gradient, like the neon gradient effects with the powders, just just using the mass pigment, essentially. I don't know if this is cute or not. This is the truth. I gotta look at the picture. I forgot what I was going for. I wanna do, this is what I wanna ask. And I'm gonna screenshot it. I um yeah, there's no smell. If you work with a brand like uh Light Elegance, you'd have to be in school or um licensed. Or you could purchase at Skyline Beauty Supply. Um you don't have to have a license to purchase from them. But um yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, it's Hema free. Um, which if you're allergic to like acrylic, you should definitely give Builder Gel a try, especially like I said, a brand like Light Elegance, who cares so much, has so much quality control. I've been to their literal facility. I've seen their literal labs and everything, and it's beautiful. And they just things you wouldn't think about. Skyline Beauty Supply. Who knows if this looks like what I was trying to get it to look like. Is this certain stone? That's what I, um, filing and shaping nails. Okay. Um, what else would you guys like to learn? Um, for an online course. Now... It's definitely in the works. I've begun recording for it. <laughs> and I just want to, I have a whole syllabus right now of what I intend to include in it and teach. Um, so, but I just wanted to ask you guys, like, what would you like to see in it? filing and shaping nails yeah start working on that and try to include that so that's something else that's kind of difficult to teach but i am going to give you all the information that i know because some of it's still going to come out to basic your basic understanding of aesthetic and symmetry and that again comes back down to skill but i'm going to teach you every technical thing that I could possibly know to help you, to help push you into having that skill. Because at the end of the day, you just gotta make that the shape look the best you can. <laughs> Crystal placement, okay. Crystal placement, filing, shaping. What else, anything else? And this is going to be very detailed, very close-up shots of things, um, and you'll be able to do it on your own time, um, and just take it how you want to. 
But yeah, I'm starting with the syllabus. And I'm actually, um, well, no, I don't know. Let me, what matters? <laughs> yes, that's what I plan on doing. Um, and it's going to be about Builder Jill. And like I said, it's going to be a deep dive. But, um, yeah, I think once everything is together, line painting, okay. I think once everything together, it's going to be a great course, especially if you're a nail tech that's just starting out. You're about to go to school. You just finished school. Um, I mean, it's not, here's the thing is... I always have to, like, I respect people who are hobbyists and do nails at home. And if you do nails on yourself or your daughter or your mom or something like that, just like that, boom. You're not out here trying to literally make a living. You just do it as a hobby. and You do it for, you know, yourself, maybe your close family members. Anyway, so that's cool. But I'm not, I don't want to require you to be like a nail tech or in school to have the class, you know what I mean? But simultaneously, I don't want somebody who, I don't want somebody to take the class, but then also go out here and be posting on Facebook trying to do $35 full sets to just anybody and everybody because that's not proper, you know? That's not cool. So, um, you know... This, what the class is going to be geared towards more to like, like I said, beginner nail techs, people who are just starting in school, just got out of school. You could be doing nails five years or somebody um, who does acrylic, especially if you do acrylic and you want to transition over, you don't like the odor, um, you don't like what it does to your hands because acrylic is literally harder to file, which means your wrist is going to take more pressure and damage over time, especially if you want to do this. Especially if you want to do this long term, you want to make sure you have good hand health. Uh, like I said, acrylic is harder to file and it may not seem like a big deal. But ooh, it adds up. It adds up. Um, so look at this nail. This is just a sample nail I was playing around with, but how pretty, right? Yeah, so if you're somebody who does acrylic, you mastered it, you feel good about it, that you'll, you'll be a great candidate. If you're somebody who's starting from scratch, I think you'll be a good candidate too. Um, you know, if you're at the beginning of nail school or Something like that. If you're somebody off the streets and you just want to buy it, you know, I'm not going to stop you. But I definitely love spreading the good word of Builder Gel. Just because, like I said, it's easier to file. It's great for handheld. The dust particles are easier to, um, like, if you have a dust vacuum. And I've been wanting to tell you guys about this. And it's dusty. I'm sorry. This Melody Susie um, little dust extractor. Poop. Um... You guys, I'll put a link in the description bar. Get it from the link if you want to get it. I've been using it for some months now, and I really like it. I need a new filter by now. But um, I just sanitize it, of course, with UV and whatever. But um, it's under the... It's not acetone resistant. I'm going to tell you guys, it's not acetone resistant, and shame on that. But it's very affordable. I have a Valentino Beauty Pure, and I haven't used it since I've gotten this in the mail. And it's been months 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 i haven't used my valentino i just used this and it's like a hundred something bucks it's so good get some extra filters um i need to go get some but even if you're at home person nail tech at the shop whatever this is a great affordable dust extractor again i bought a brand new valentino beauty pier oh granted it was, this is the generation three um so it was a few years ago but it was their generation three and I prefer this better. And I know there's better ones than the Valentino that wasn't the pinnacle of best, but it was 400 something dollars. 
this is a hundred something so make sure if you go on a previous video there's a melody Susie link go on and um get that link and if you're watching this in the future i'll put it down in the description bar just so i can get my little commissions you know what i'm saying it's hard out here <laughs> but it really is a great um dust extractor especially for the money like i really use that with clients and etc so anyways but um you know with my point is with builder gel because the particles um they're just they fall nice and they're usually dust extracted dust will get places but it's not the same with as when i had a ah, tongue tie when i was using acrylic it's much less and yeah um with builder gel it's easier to i mean it's literally easier to file and shape never mind your hands but literally to get the shape you want is going to take less time so um yeah so that's why i want to do a course teaching about builder gel because there's so many benefits you can charge more the clarity it just looks better and i know that's an opinion and i shouldn't state it as fact but it feels kind of like a fact <laughs> it does look better it is clearer it's more clear for encapsulation um yeah the filter can be taken out and stuff um yeah it's literally more clear so i always say for your glitters and stuff you know you want them to look as pretty as they look in the jar or whatever you want them to look as pretty as they're supposed to look and when you encapsulate with um builder gel it's just more clear look at this beautiful glitter where's my flash this is i don't have the official this is from the new um, my elegance collection their spring collection is called nudie it's just like a neutral it's just like a nude glitter it's really pretty i got distracted by that but i don't have the official like bottles but um yeah so be on the lookout i'm trying to get it I, I don't have any perspective on time i'm trying to get it together as soon as possible but i want to make sure i mean I want to make sure it's very detailed. You're going to learn a lot in that course. Because, yeah. I've already, like I said, I've already begun. We've started drawing diagrams and stuff. And it's just going to go from there. It's going to take, yeah, <laughs> some time. And I'm going to get it to y'all. And I feel like it's going to do so good in the nail world and help a lot of you guys out. Um, and it will. Oh, Lizette. Hi. You know, honestly, nothing. I'm not doing. I was trying to make this one stone. I forgot what it's called. And I don't know what this looks like. And I don't have the reference picture because I'm on live. So I don't know. Um, I have my piece of rose quartz here because I'm always saying I'm going to redo my rose quartz video. So, um, yeah, I have this here for reference and to see if I'm going to get into that. This nail, I just love how it looks. It needs to be top coated. It is top coat. No, like top gel. There was something under this, so this is just, like I said, a little crazy sample, but, you know, you get the gist of it. It's cute. Um, yeah, so I'll keep you guys updated on um, the course. It's going to be separated into different units it's going to be lengthy um we're going to have a 
private Facebook group if you paid to attend the course and we'll also be doing, I'm going to find a way to do lives every once in a while. I'll figure out the schedule on that. Um, and then I plan on having a way where um, you can show me your final work um, so I can see how you progress through the class. But you can take it on your own time. But um, yeah, that's how we're going to do it. It's going to be a whole course and we're going to get you into, you know, doing Builder Jail. And like I said, especially if you're somebody who wants to make money from this builder gel like i said is easier to get down so you can see yourself going from you know beginner nail tech or in school you can see yourself going from that beginning phase into you know profiting and doing quality nails at a quicker rate because this product is easier to get down so that's what I um plan on doing and I'll like I said I'll update you guys that's what I've been doing behind the scenes it's a lot um and we're gonna be talking about um like pricing info um just to kind of help with that um and I just want to um overall make myself a little more available not a little more make myself available in a different way for the people who take the classes and essentially you know have a little bit more mentoring and stuff it'll be online but you know it's gonna be a very um what's the word i'm looking for enriching course which brands have the okay you guys always know I mean light elegance is by default their cool gel is a great consistency um yeah magic brand I I like them and this this is a pretty cool texture it like self levels but also doesn't move it's weird and it says it on its website this this ultra silk on a screenshot and i don't know if you have to be pro to buy from them either i think you might so don't hate me if you do but if you are a pro out there licensed nail tech go and take a screenshot they have good products and this is a really cool texture like i said it it likes self levels, but it doesn't move. So I can do like two or three fingers at a time. And that's it's I don't even know how to explain that. Yeah. See, so yeah, if you have a hema allergy, definitely light elegance. And I think their cool gel or extreme gel are kind of there right down the line stuff. Some nail stuff. Um, you can email me, Sarah, at my email. It's tubsofscott.nails at gmail.com. And we can see, because here's the thing. I don't want you to send me stuff, and it's like stuff that I don't use. And and then it's disingenuine. It's a disingenuine shout out. You know what I mean? Especially if somebody like sends me like acrylics or somebody like that. Somebody, something like that. And it's like, if I go ahead and... I don't know it feels disingenuous I don't ever want to be disingenuous with you guys so definitely send me an email and if it's something that I um you know will even use on the page then yeah bling charms okay yeah 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 um yeah go ahead and email me DM me and I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest uh, honest and, you know, for me, if I don't like something, I'd rather just, like, I don't want to blast somebody, you know? Because my opinion is my opinion. You have to know when your opinion needs to be known by other people. Tangent conversation. Some people don't know how to give reviews. And I get so mad when I'm on Yelp and be like, the food was delicious. It's the best food I ever had. Three stars because they forgot my napkins at the end. And it's like, fair. 
that's not how you leave a review. Like, still give them their four or five stars. Probably five. It's the best food you ever had. And it's, like, it's decent in there. And nobody cussed you out. And nobody beat you up. And it was fine. Everything was decently clean. <laughs> like, give them their five stars. And just say, oh, it kind of messed me up that they left my napkins. But, you know, I'm an adult. It's okay. <laughs> But y'all, y'all sit here and make somebody's whole day bad because they forgot some napkins. And now they're not getting their Yelp recognition. Y'all figure out how, how to review people. So I say that to say. I'm going to always try to be honest with reviews or, or just not at all. Because I don't want somebody to be like, oh, I don't really like it. And because, you know, I have the X amount of followers and now you have the potential of this many customers. And they're like, oh, well, Tabitha doesn't like it. Well, I'm, I probably won't buy it. It's not good. Because now you lock it in your head. It's not good. And I'm like, if I just don't like it, I don't have a right to... <laughs> I, you know, I said right. Oh, see. <laughs> they have food and didn't ask for it. <laughs> I'm just saying. So... I'm not even doing nothing but showing you guys my hands. Oh, I did want to tell you this. Um, where's the meal? Another little nail I can mess around with. Um, I did want to tell you this because I don't know if anybody in here is trying to grow their YouTube. I posted it on Instagram, and I wasn't sure. Probably some people thought I was trying to. I thought I was trying to scam or something. I don't know. <laughs> um, but where is that peak color? But I wanted to tell you guys about, I think I'm going to just use ideal paint. Right? I'm doing, I'm going to do a rough draft of this. Um, so I took a class to grow my YouTube and um, for which class the, okay, so when I have a class, I haven't decided on pricing as of yet. It will be an investment. Okay. I'm gonna be very honest. It will be an investment. You see the words right here? It will be an investment. It will be good. It will be detailed. It, it will. But I'm getting together. That's why I came on here. I was trying to get um, you guys' opinions. Like I said, I've been doing it. I've got a syllabus together. I've started recording it and getting together. But I felt like, um, you know... I would do myself a disservice if I didn't at least ask a few of you guys what you wanted to see in the class and ensure that those things were in the classes. So. Um, but that will be in the future. Of course, I'll keep you guys updated because it is for you guys. Um, so separately, separately, the lady who helped, um, whose class I took, I took a course. It's not a single class, it's a course. And I think it was over 12 weeks, I believe. I don't know, she might have changed it. She's doing a free online class tomorrow, Thursday. Okay, all of us going to be snowed in. All right, tell a friend, even if it's not for you, the link is in the description bar of this video. She's having a free class this Thursday. And even if you're watching this in the future, excuse me, everybody who's here now, dear future people, you can still click that link because um, she'll just have that class. It's it's being, it's going to be live tomorrow, but she'll have it for replay if you're interested in that class. And it has helped me grow my YouTube so much. I can see, and I posted, like I said, on YouTube in my stories, you can see my little numbers. I'm drawing you my little imaginary graph, my little YouTube numbers. Then I took the class and then it just shot up and it's, and it's just consistently up. Um, so.
So in the description bar of this video, I know we're on live now, um, but I'm, I'm not sure on your end, if you can see the description bar, there's a link to that class. And she basically gives you, yeah, the link, sorry, my phone's dying. Let me plug it in. In that, in just that free class, I learned a good amount of information. So definitely take that and you'll get information on the full course, but take that class or send it to somebody you know that wants to start their YouTube. She is her daughter. Um, you, you may be aware her daughter's Raven Elise here on YouTube. Um, her daughter has, I think, 1.8 million subscribers. Um, oh, let me, I forgot I was doing this. Her daughter has 1.8 million subscribers. And, um, this is the buttercream. Let me see how I feel about this. Let me see if I can bust out a rose quartz using like elegance products or something, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, her daughter has 1.8 million subscribers and she basically helped her get to that. Um, and I would say so far I'm having pretty good success. Um, and so she is, um, the people who have taken her classes because you get to be Again, like similar to what I was saying um, with my intentions. When I have a course before this YouTube masterclass, growth course, whatever you want to call it, she's going to have a private Facebook group and she'll help you about thumbnails and workflow. And I'm going to say things and it might say, oh, that seems, you know, higher level. I don't really know what that means. I don't know SEO and stuff like She's going to teach it to you. It is very fulfilling you'll understand it like you didn't before so if you or somebody you know is serious about growing their youtube like for real because i invested in it um but i said like i said she's given an initial free class and there's a lot of information in it after that she has a course if you're interested but you can see what she's about you can learn about her she can tell you how she grew her daughter's channel and um yeah so her name is miss tony and she's so kind and um you don't have to be trying to grow a nail channel at all her daughter does like a i don't even know she's like a, a mom with a little girl like the like vlogs and hair care and stuff like that um so you don't have to be there for nails if you want to do a vlog type channel style hair care Game, just whatever you want to do i'm just sticking to it doesn't have to be beauty related you know she has a good friend that she helped grow her to a, a ton i think like half a million or something and she has like um like barn restoration i think she does don't quote me it's something like that so um if you want to learn how to you know get to that point and it's about getting you to a place where you can monetize and get you some you know some earnings some income you know of course you want to live life well isn't that ideal to live life off of youtube but um you know that's what the class prepares you for and i can say that i've had steady growth so and i'm telling you look yes montana yes and I'm going to tell you, not it, not that it matters, not, not that it does matter, not that it doesn't matter. But she is a woman, and she is a woman of color. And um, like I said, not that it matters, because there's ladies of all different, you know, good knowledge is good knowledge. But, um, you know, I just appreciate that. And I wasn't, I didn't take the class biasly because of that. It was just a bonus. It was just a little bonus, Jonas. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't take the class because of that. But I just, I love it. I enjoy it. So, um, yeah, definitely do yourself that. And try to invest. Because 
YouTube money is literally there's no cap and it's endless and it is hard to make a living on here it's a lot but that's why she has taken so many classes herself she has helped her daughter get to that amount of followers you don't have to make the mistakes that you know you don't have to make a lot of mistakes <laughs> you can know what's good information and go with that and grow your channel from good information and not weird information or what you think is going to work so that's my tangent i mean that's what one of the things i came on the live for is to tell you guys about that because the class is tomorrow and just because i have um told anybody who will listen including like my mom <laughs> like man that class has helped me so so much so um yeah and she does um she does live weekly calls like zoom calls and um she does that and those are so cool and um i enjoyed them i missed some <laughs> but i made several and you know you get to ask questions if you don't understand something get recommendations get other people's opinions and stuff like that she'll look at your channel and like you know if you have that going sometimes give you recommendations and stuff and like i said there's that group oh this was two nails stacked on top of each other that's hilarious oop there's 66 people in there 66 likes 66 likes yeah, there's a link to the class in the description bar, actually, right now, if you're able to access the description bar. But, like I said, if you're not able to make the class tomorrow, it's going to be recorded so you can watch it at a later time. So, the link will still be valid, like I said, if you're watching this in the future. I'll save this live. And yeah, it just really has helped me. And I know, in all honesty, it could help me so much more. I'm just um, the procrastinator to rival all procrastinators. But I am working on that class, y'all. <laughs> y'all have as I said I really want to tell you guys about that so do y'all have any questions about that class or anything um or if you come here if you come here late or you want to interject and tell me about you see the link brazen okay perfect yeah go ahead and sign up for it like I guess that's a free class but you'll still learn in that class it's not a like a gimmicky thing either i know what you're thinking you know it's always the people that you know that <laughs> the commercials he'll get on youtube before the video and it's like aren't you tired of making no money and you don't have a bmw and a lamborghini learn about amazon drop shipping you can make ten thousand dollars a month gone now for the free class and they like bully you and make you feel bad about things and you get this course and you never learn anything you get this free little class and you don't really learn anything. But of course you'll learn something. That's not going to be a deep dive. But you'll learn something. So definitely take the course. And you'll know. She's very honest and everything. But like I said. Her daughter is on YouTube. She has a big page. It's Raven Elise. Um, 
and um she's very sweet her daughter i actually met her daughter some years ago um i did this um sally's event the sally beauty event which sally's kind of played me out no they didn't they just didn't have that event at least locally anymore um But yeah, I met her, the daughter, and she was just so kind. And I was expecting, like, because it's around, like, other oh, big YouTubers. I wasn't big on YouTube. My Instagram was, I thought, was a decent size at the time. I had, like, 10, 15,000 followers or something like that on Instagram. And so I was there because, basically because of that because I had a decent amount of followers on Instagram and I was local to where they were having it do I think there are too many nail sex on YouTube to make money oh no I do not think that there's not too many of anybody on here to make money i said youtube money is endless because some people can watch my channel they can watch my video 20 30 minutes watch the next video 20 30 minutes somebody's page they can watch your page for your 15 minute 20 minute video they can watch that they can fall asleep watching another one and they can watch old oh, girls tomorrow and they can watch another video of mine tomorrow so you know it just gives people more variety honestly which we, you know, you want people to consume YouTube, give them variety, give them options, and you'll be another valid option. And you just got to make sure you're more appealing, make people come back. But just because somebody, you know, just because somebody watches my videos, just because 10,000 people watch my video don't mean they're not going to watch your video. So don't think like that. Because those same 10,000 people can watch both of our videos. Boom. Okay. So we're going in. We made kind of a deep kind of thing. Like that. Oh, Mary, the, you don't get access to the Facebook group unless you take the full course. Um, so for YouTube, um, for making money, the rules are a bit different, honestly, than when I started. Um, now you have to have, um, I think 4,000 hours of watch time in a year and a thousand subscribers to get monetized, to be eligible for monetization. And then after that, um, unless you have like major like copyright issues or anything like that you'll be able to be um monetized generally you know i'm not youtube so that's a a thousand subscribers four thousand watch time hours in a year the hours need to be within a year
Oh, you just got monetized yesterday. Oh, congratulations, Lady Pris. I want this. I'm really trying to mimic Right, look at that. See what I'm saying? Okay, so Lady Press, all lies on you. Did you sign up for that class I was just talking about? Did you already say you signed up? I need to know. Let me scroll back. Did you say it? Lady Press. Yeah, from the last information I knew, and I just looked because, you know, um, I'm trying to get my other page back popping. So I just recently looked, and yeah, it was 4,000 watch time hours within a year and 1,000 subscribers. And you don't need to gain, you need to have 1,000 total subscribers. It's kind of like... Smoky and some areas. Yeah, I'm just kind of practicing. To like make this look right. Okay, yes ma'am, Lady Press, you're perfect. You're an excellent candidate. Not to say oh, nobody else is, but you know, you passed that. Girl, Lady Press, take this class, a plot. She's going to tell you about such good information. Like I said, it's not too high level. I don't think you'll feel overwhelmed. And it's going to, she's going to tell you about, like I said, workflow, about thumbnails. She's going to tell you about apps. She's going to tell you about different things you can use to get analytics so you can help figure out content for your video, titles for your video, um, how to plan videos, how to put drawn, like just different things, just different things. Like I said, YouTube is just unlimited income. Because people just sit at work and watch videos, you know? So I'm trying to... My other channel is Tabitha Scott Nails and Love. It used to be the magnetics, but it was harder to find, so we left it at that for now. <laughs> okay, so I want to make these little, like, lines right here. Just like, how, you know? So, what I'm doing is taking half my brush and dipping it in the white and the other half in clear. And blending them. Oh, there's an ant on my desk. Lord. Oh, is a gnat. These gnats. Don't worry. We're going to sanitize all this. <laughs> okay, so...
I just checked. You're on 625 subs and 3K watch hours. Oh, Nails by Sue, you're so close, though. Them watch hours is what's getting me on my other channel. I'm trying to get my... But I haven't done anything. We have so many plans. We do. Um, Because I'm back deep on my fitness journey and recipes. And I get so sad with people trying to eat healthy. And people think eating healthy is just not good food. And that's not the case. And it's like, oh, you can't eat. Girl, my love and I, we do a lot of research about it. And we're taking it serious. Like I said, we have plans on our other channel to go real hard and heavy on, like, health things and cooking recipes and et cetera. So we got a hold of my mom. Boom. And she did this other weight loss thing. And um, she had success. Um, it was hard to keep up with and she was just restricting her eating so much such a low calorie intake um you know wasn't keeping track of her macros or anything so we helped get her together and she's been eating more food and she lost 10 pounds this month eating more food than she was before like just me and him telling her what to do she just walks on a treadmill four or five times a week 20 30 minutes at a just a neutral speed that's it. And we're going to start it on actually working out. But yeah, so I want to share recipes and shortcuts because health is, you know, I'm still chunky, but I'm losing and I'm building muscle. I'm in the gym on the weights, you know, four days a week and I've already lost 70 pounds, 80 of, yeah. So, definitely keep a lookout for that other channel. Because I'm not just a girl. I do nails. I'm not just my whole life ain't nail tech. Y'all, I love, like, real estate. I'm going to get my realtor's license. I used to work in mortgage before I did nails. I always tell people that. So, watch out now. Just, you might have to come see about a house when you get your nails done. <laughs> So I'm just taking this blend and seeing, I just want to, God, it's so hard to mimic. I think I flipped the brush around. This line just kind of ends. Oh, sorry, let me see the comments. I was focused on this little quartz. With, um, shut down the. I'm not sure about the kit. If you need to download it, uh, maybe it won't hurt if you did. I'm not sure about that. But yeah, thank you, Mary. Yeah, and my better half, he's 
so good on his fitness journey. He is building crazy muscle and stuff, but we want to do the challenge together because I love to cook. I love to cook healthy, find like healthy meal hacks and like good, like I said, good food. Because I've lost plenty of weight eating pasta and pizza. I've lost 10 pounds this month. Oh, let me not, not, not let me not lie. But, you know, I've eaten so much pizza. I say so much, you know, within reason. Just more than you would think eating on a healthy diet. You know what I mean? But it's not a diet, you know? It's just eating healthy. Thank you, Sue. I'm trying to... Trying to figure it out. Like I said, I'm just I just wanted to talk with you guys and see we have I'm trying to capture I'm trying to make it look kinda like this in a way, not exactly, obviously. I did the lines different a little bit. But I'm trying to see what makes like I always say what makes this look like this. problems with these is that I hate to make straight lines but a lot of these lines are straight Okay, Michelle. Oh, girl, these quartz. I'm just over here flash curing off camera.
I think I could honestly benefit from a smaller brush. Yorkshire accent. Oh, the nails by the suit. I want a brush that's like this, but smaller. Let's see. I have a light elegance block brush that, oh, yeah. This might be perfect. Oops. So. So I have this brush and I'm gonna see if I can make these type of details. I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna dip half on the side of it in white like this and the other half in a clear. Oh dang, I kind of did it backwards. And the other half in clear. I know it's kind of hard to see. Then I'm going to go and blend it. Let's see where that gets me. I'm trying to see where I want to let's see and that's what I need to stop doing like I said I like to wiggle the the brush too much and a lot of the lines are relatively I want to do it this way. Half with white. Clear. Blend it. I don't know how this type of quartz is going to come out. I haven't tried anything accents, I don't think. The 
the smoky quartz no i haven't i wanted to know ideas that you guys want to see i wanted to get back with my crystal series that i was doing Just trying to get these veins and lines. I'm just referencing this. Filling this clear and white and mixing it down here. I see there's so much a little lines you see. My other channel should be, it's, it's Top of the Scott Nails and Love. So it says the same. It just has and love at the end. And it's just his food videos. And then you'll see like my hair dye video. Hmm. It's 
like Yeah, we change it for now. Nail Queen Studio. I don't even think I know those brands. Bling Line and Nail Bling Studio. So this is more bold. I'm just gonna keep going and adding more detail. No, my hair is not still rose gold. It is what it naturally is. <laughs> I kept it a little, like when I did that um, video for Light Elegance, that I just had the tips were the rose gold because cause I cut so much of it and the tips were just kind of left. But I ended up cutting it last time I cut my hair. Oh, on average is wild. I mean, I guess probably about three hours. Three, four hours. You gotta be prepared to come here and stay here and be here. <laughs> I wanted to try wiping this and seeing if I liked the results, but I'm scared. No, just do it, tap do it. Help me up. Exactly what I thought would happen. And now it's ruined. <laughs> I wiped it and all my little everything came off. <laughs> so that's that, guys. That's how you do this. Let's see. Maybe we can get it back. I'm gonna try. <laughs> You know, and this is what this behind the scenes is about. <laughs> I know not to do that. So, I can tell you guys not to do that. Yeah, so don't like wipe it in the middle <laughs> of everything. I thought I was going to remove the... <sighs> Just don't listen to me. <laughs> I was going to remove the inhibition layer only. It may be smoothing my lines up, but... It removed my lines.
Yeah, I'm still working with the light elegance. Do this big line again. Um, no, I am not giving a class about making money on YouTube. I am telling you about somebody I took a class from. <laughs> I, um, okay, so what I was saying, I, I'll refresh, is, um, there's a lady on YouTube, not on YouTube, I mean, I guess she has her own YouTube. Um, oh, let me get this together. I took a class to grow my YouTube from a lady. I knew of her. I know of her daughter. I don't personally know her. I met her once. Her name's Raven Elise on YouTube. And um, her channel has 1.8 million followers. Well, her mother helped her grow her page to that volume she told her mom that you know that's what she was trying to do and her mom i think she has it and she'll tell you in the free class the free class there's a link in the description bar right now um and she'll tell you you know in more detail and more about herself but i think she did marketing before um on her own time okay so she helped that's so annoying okay <laughs> so she helped her daughter grow her channel um gosh i think her channel was probably at around when i first met her probably at two hundred thousand subscribers and now she's at 1.8 million and she took her from i forget how what the numbers were she grew her page crazy her mom took is very well educated in the area and compiled a lot of different information from taking a lot of different you know classes and stuff on her own time and you know basically to it she's helped to she's helped other people in the class like i said she's helped personal friends and stuff grow their um youtubes youtubes youtube channels and now she's doing a course um but first she's having a free class the free class is live tomorrow you can sign up with the link in the bio. You'll learn stuff in the class. And then you'll get information about her and see if you want to take the full course. Now, I took the course myself. And I have seen great benefits, um, especially with channel growth and income. So I don't want you to think it's a... I'm just here telling you the truth. I took a class. I paid for it out of my own money. I took a course. I paid for it out of my own money. But it started with taking the free, like, live class first. And I did it last year. And my channel has grown 30-something thousand since I took the class, which is May of last year. Subscribers, 32,000, I believe, or something like that. And um, my income has grown and become more consistent. So I just loved it so much. And I just talked to her, and she said I could, you know... She's having it again. It was just kismet, the timing um, of it. So I just wanted to tell anybody, and you don't have to, like I was telling people earlier, it doesn't have to be for a nail channel. You can be a hair channel, 
a vlog channel, a baby channel, a single mother channel, a family channel, a gaming channel, a science channel. You could be anything. It's going to be good knowledge no matter what your channel is. And um, take the free class and you'll see if taking the full course is, you know, good for you. It's not a BS little thing. Like I said, I spent my whole real good money on it and received return on investment from it. So I know a lot of, I get people who ask, you know, about it. And I'm not a professional. I just share my talent and it's a disorganized but this has helped me get it together and you guys know I obviously don't have it 100% together but it has helped me greatly and she goes back and you'll have access to the class to the course I can't tell you how much it costs because I honestly don't know the pricing could be different um but take the free class tomorrow and I know and don't quote me on this either. I don't know the price of the class. I know she allowed it to be paid in payments. And that's what the option I took. So, and I believe when I talked to her, she said she was offering that again. You'll have access. She'll have free um, and live Q&A calls weekly. And she usually does it at a time, which most people, you know, if you have a regular job, she just try to... She tries to find a time that most people are able to see it online and able to call and she'll, you know, answer any questions that you may have. And she also has a private Facebook group. Once you take the full course, like you pay for the full course, you'll have access to that Facebook group and you'll have access to the full course for the lifetime. So she'll update with new information, new classes and stuff. Um, you'll have access to that. If things change in the YouTube world and she does a new class about it you'll still have access you don't have to pay anything extra so um it's definitely i found it worth it and i just wanted to share with you guys i um from a genuine a real genuine place so take the free class and then you'll get a feel for it and see if you want to take the course honestly and see you know how you feel but the class is free. It's live. And if you, like I said, if you're watching this in the future, if you're not able to make the class tomorrow, she said it will be recorded. So you can access it in the future at any time. But, you know, if you want to just see it live, and I think you'll be able to ask, you know, questions to her while it's live. Um, you know, go ahead and take that course and it doesn't hurt. And you can see if it's right for your for you but especially if you've been wanting to try youtube and make money like a living you know at, at first it's gonna be a little side extra bonus income but it grows you know and you just have to have certain tactics and you know she helps with that and helps you understand those things and like i said different apps like things that I, I, I wouldn't even have thought of and just a whole bunch of different tools to help you grow. So if you're interested, the link is in the description bar. It has nothing to do with me um, as far as like the actual class and the content of the class. I'm not hosting it. On it. Like I said, I just wanted to share something good with you guys. Just like I share good nail stuff, I want to share good all the other good stuff too. Cause where does being selfish get you, you know? having to do going back over all these lines that I made and it was looking cute it's starting to not look cute now but we'll see if we can save it um the mat on my table I do I don't have a link in this video but if you look at any of my previous videos like the the one right before this live um 
like that Valentine's video, just any recent video, you'll see the link in the um, description bar and it's the silicone mat. And I love it. I need to order a new one because I stained this one up. Where's my little... I don't even look. I'm gonna just put this on and see how this makes me feel. And then I want it. I don't know if there's anybody new in the chat. Um, I am putting together a nail course, a master class, if you will, of learning builder gel. The goal for this class is to learn and refine your skills with builder gel um you know that way so you can master it i always say it's an easier thing to get down and it will be a an investment of a course but i um if you're my point is if you're new in the chat i want to see if you have anything specific you want to learn know understand in this course Getting suggestions. Last call. Mm -hmm. See, and then I feel like. Got lint in here. I'm just taking this um, white this baby boomer white um, Jimmy Jill. It's like a more sheer white and just throw it places. Trying to Build up that frostiness here. I don't know if this will be my best rose quartz look yet. Yeah. People think they want acrylic because that's all they know. And in the class, I'll talk about transfer, how to transfer people over. Um, it's it's easy. You give them no choice. You tell them. You give it to them for free. They'll be okay. Hmm. <laughs> The color is really good, though, on this, right? I mean, it looks a little more, well, it kind of looks more pink, kind of doesn't. There's that tab underneath there. But the color's pretty good. Yeah, it's a little more pink. Okay. 
Okay. Um, Polly Jill, I enjoy Polly Jill. I do, just broad what it means. I think there's a, a good purpose for it, especially if you use Builder Gel, Polly Gel is great to have too around because you can do much more, you can do permanent designs easier. What that means, um, what I mean by permanent designs is like, you know, a classic pink and white French, you know, with the reverse type pink and white with the nail bed and stuff. Poly gel is perfect for stuff like that. You can do it with builder gel, especially a non-leveling one, but the poly gel is so great for that. Yes, the sticky bling. And that's something that will also No, I'm sorry if I'm breathing crazy. I just realized <laughs> my nose is stopped. I probably sound like 600 pounds over here. try I'm adding some little veining in here and I'm just mixing that buttercream white with that sheer white because I don't want it to be too like super bright white you guys see and it's just like random very tiny lines that went in here so this is just a practice. Because I'm trying to... I'm 
Make it better. And like, if the line's too like, harsh, I just kind of blend it out. This is already skewed, but I'm going to try it. So what I'm going to do now is, on the opposite side of those white lines, I'm going to kind of fill it darker with the pink, like, and you see what I'm doing here? Be smooth down. Um, I'm not like open to taking clients, but I don't really take new clients. I just had an opening the other day because I wanted to do a Valentine's set, but I'm not like open for booking like just clients is open. <laughs> okay, so my goal here is to continue with this. If I can get this right, it'll be in full video on it. I guess I'm just practicing. I'm not really trying to do like a tutorial for you guys because I don't really know. If what I'm doing is going to work out. And I kind of wanted to try. A little like sheer gray. Hold on. One second, everybody. If I could find this, it'd be real cool.
looking for a color, guys. And I kind of have to use the restroom. <laughs> Okay. Sorry guys. I did not find it, but I found the I think this is the black one. Oh Sue, good night. I'm sorry you guys. Okay. So, let's see if this does anything for me. I don't know what y'all think. Y'all think it's coming out long? I think it still kind of looks weird. I can see so much of those strokes from those big veins. I'm just going in with this little shadow color I made. Like I said, I'm doing the opposite of those white lines on the other side of it. Just to kind of make it stand out more. I'm just flash curing back and back and back. And I'm just layering. I'm just going on the opposite of like each little line thingy. Continuing on, like I said, outlining the opposite way with this shadow color. I don't know if it's noticeable or not. I feel like it's doing I do what I want it to do, it's not too obvious.
form sloping and depth shaping of the lower arch side walls. Basics, okay. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Nova. So I just seen this message and I feel like she left, but. <laughs> it's okay, actually. I kind of hate these. Actually, see if I can emphasize. I probably don't need to. I was gonna go in stronger with the gray, but oh no. I'm sorry, I'm just quiet, y'all. Uh, I'm just trying to figure this out. How to use this? I want to add these like cloudy type of white areas. Hmm. We'll see. Okay. I'm just flash caring. I said this is not a tutorial. I'm just practicing while y'all are here talking. 
me all about some stuff. <laughs> I want to go back in and add some more of those little lines. Stay again. I'm going to go in with this brush. This one right here. So I go in, add some more of this little one, gradient, So I'm using a mix of the white and the sheer white just to make sure this white isn't too bald. I think some of it is. I'm going to blend it out a little. We're still going to go with the pink to kind of temper it down. So. Okay, I'll just take this brush and like, has just, like really nothing on it, just has a little clear on it. Not like a lot, just enough to make sure the bristles don't go nowhere. I'm just gonna blend out this line. I'm just gonna blend it out wherever I think it looks like strong. Just flash carrying that. And I'm gonna go back in and add some more lines. And just make them like feel as organic as possible. And then we can come over. So this is the ones we did before. They're kind of set in the background a little bit now since we put a layer of the pink on there.
<laughs> That's funny. You're a pretty person. Just gonna continue this down, just adding some little details, little detail lines, picking up some more white with this sheer white. I wish I didn't make these, those big veins in the back as strong, maybe. These little lines and just so it feels right, like mm -hmm. Okay, so I did that. <laughs> I'm going to blend out, like I said earlier, these lines that are a little bit stronger, thicker. Just with this even smaller brush, just kind of fade the edge of it out. It's going to help with that 3D effect, too. I'm just wiping these lines to make them smaller and less, a little less noticeable.
Mm -hmm. Okay. I put a lot of effort in. I don't really know if that looks right. If it's going to be the thing. I don't know when I decide it's finished. Like when it looks like the best it can. <laughs> So we have this and I'm honestly going to do a layer of just clear over it for now. Sorry, I'm super zoomed in. That's what I said. I'm, I'm practicing. I'm putting this clear. I want to see it all like leveled out. There's a lot of lint in here. So. Yeah, I want to see it all kind of leveled out and encapsulated just a little bit. And that'll also put a little layer of like depth. Cause I'm sure I'll go back over it with the the pink color again. That's what we have so far. Yeah. I think those first lines, I need to figure out how to not make them look so, so um, obvious. Honey, your name's cute. Oh, honey, your nails. Oh, honey, your nails. <laughs> Let's take it off here and evaluate because that makes it look more like pigmented. So let's eval. Yeah, those first lines. The white looks, maybe it's the color. Yeah, those first lines I put, they're kind of doing something. They're kind of not doing anything for me. Let me do, I have this acrylic ink. I'm gonna see what this does for me. What is this best moved with? It's acrylic ink. Acetone should be good. I'm just trying to see how this moves. I'm just kind of experimenting.
Oh, I'm not even in frame, yo. I should have screamed at me. So I kind of like what this has done to it. Yeah, spell correct. Yes. Yeah. This did something special to it for it. This is on gel product, so I feel like I should let it air dry. But this is what we have. There's this little, I don't know, you see this little like, mm, it's not iridescent per se, it's like a, it's not opalescent, it, it is kind of a pearlescent type, it's clear, it doesn't really reflect many colors, it's mostly like a clear situation. I'm gonna find a foil that can do that but i probably should have put it in the nail some more we're here to make mistakes right i'm gonna just do the hollow that's what i usually do and it kind of gives that look how you know we get it off is use the wrong side so I'm using this like I said this holographic just to add a little like I said I probably should have put this a little deeper like two layers before but Encapsulate it so that I want to encapsulate it in like a like clear mixed with the uh, the littlest amount of the paint. actually have natural pink cool gel which is a more sheer situation I don't know if the the tone he said let's see the underside of the nail this part Is this gonna be too pink? Oh, where'd this glass? Oh, when I dropped it. Darn it. Oh, let me put this back here. So I'm using this. I think it's okay. I'm using the Light Elegant. What is this color called? Natural Pink Cool Gel. It's a very sheer pink. And, um, yeah, just to get it 
really all locked in. Did that mess it up? Do y'all think this sheer paint messed it up? Look here. It's, just tell me if you think it messed it up. <laughs> So where this hair came from, we don't know. So we got it to this point. Oops. I'm gonna walk out, wipe off the tack layer. Hopefully it won't wipe off the full design like earlier, right? No. <laughs> It's a little more pinker than I wanted. Won't lie. Well, I guess it depends on the part of the stone. I'm gonna just shape it a little. Falling. I'm sorry for the sound. I'm trying to get it to look decent in shape. So I can top coat. And this is something that I would build up the nail with, not on top of a finished nail, because it'll make it so way too thick. And I'm just, I wouldn't do this in real life, but, well, it depends on the situation, but I'm just kind of filling the surface with 
top coat just to kind of even it out because it'll self-level and fill in any divots you see how it's all that light line is not smooth coat just to kind of encapsulate that right now just to give us a more finished look again we would have had a smooth surface like i said if we put this in the nail i'm gonna hold this upside down just so gravity can do its thing that's the amazing thing with gel gel type products as they self level so got a little air bubble and I hate that okay right there okay I'm gonna flip it back over just again so I can get it to self level how I want it Okay, so I'm about to finish, guys. Get off here and get ready for my last batch of groceries being delivered. Um, yeah, so definitely check out that class in the description bar. Don't forget to check out that uh, Melody Susie um, extractor and um, that dust extractor. Like I said, I can't remember. It's like a hundred something bucks. It's super. There's dust in there cleaned it out it's really good for the price um really really good for the price like i said i use that with working on actual paying clients so yeah but you can use the link and um in the description bar of the previous videos for the melody susie it is a commission based link you know i get a few little dollars and i appreciate you you know, um, yeah, so let's look at this final product. Like I said, this was just practice. I plan on perfecting this and making a detailed video about this, but you know, if I could perfect how, like, There you go. So this is my finished practice today. And yeah, so don't forget to sign up for that class. Um, and check out the everything. Check out everything in the world. <laughs> um thank you guys for chilling with me for way too long hearing me talk for way too long and sitting with me while i try to figure this out and perfect this and hopefully we'll have a good like video in the future of the updated rose quartz because i'm not mad at this there's a few of the things i want to kind of explore a little bit techniques but overall, especially sitting on here next to it. I'm not mad at it. Again, it looks much more pinker. Especially on camera. In real life, it kind of looks like the same pink. On camera, it looks like this is not pink at all, really. It's weird. I find that weird. Yeah, it's kind of pretty close to the color in real life. I don't know if it's probably the way the light hits the stone. Maybe. It's my theory. But for some reason, it looks like a muted type of color. Muted, like nudish color. And this is looking more pink. But yeah, they look pretty good in real life. Hopefully I can catch it on camera. I can't really kind of tell the difference from a distance. I'm leaning back. You know what? I'm not mad at that. Okay, guys. So, thank you for watching. I wish you the best in this winter storm we're about to have. Hopefully, it's not too bad. Uh, especially us here in Texas. Y'all know they tried to take us out last year. So, 
I don't know what they did different with the grid this year so it doesn't happen, but hopefully it's just the weather ain't as bad. But I don't know. If it's so bad, I'm going to go live. Y'all send somebody come save me, please. <laughs> Bye. Yes, I hope you're safe up there in Ohio. I hope everybody's safe wherever they're at. Let us all make it and stay warm. And I thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to thumbs up something. Just thumbs up this or like scroll. And just thumbs up something. Yeah. Alright you guys. Bye. Ooh.